We're seeing yields pop. We're seeing technology down. Do you think that is a trend that will continue? Or is this kind of a, a near-term wonder to start the year? Well, I think we have the opportunity that it can keep going for a bit because I think the underlying, you, you hit it on the head, rising rates have been troublesome for the tech spot uh, side. The other side is that really valuations on the growth side, <clears throat> tech being the biggest part of that, are very expensive relative to kind of the value side of the equation. Whether it continues to work, I don't know, but certainly value in general has been a beneficiary and the financials uh, in particular from the rising rates. Yeah, and I want to make I don't want to make too much of it. I the ten year yields have been on the rise, and I but we're only back to two year high. It's not like the ten year yield is yielding three and a half or four percent. But I do wonder if it's the velocity of the move, the you know how fast everything has changed in just literally fifteen to twenty trading days early this year at the end of next year. The VIX is up. I think it feels like the market kind of got punched in the face a bit. Well, I mean, I think you can say the market got extremely complacent last year. So my easy measure on complacency is we were only ever down 5% inter-year last year. That is in the top 10 lowest. So never have we not had a worse inter-year down the next year. Yeah, and you do wonder, and it's, you say, you know, the market's got complacent. I will say the market is really just a collection of individuals. So without offending our entire audience, Bill, I will say that maybe individuals got complacent. I mean, the, the same things worked in investing for not months, not quarters, yeah. but years. And I will bet you there's 30%, 40% of professional investment advisors who have never managed client money in a rising interest rate environment because interest rates really haven't been on the rise in about 10 years. Well, and, and certainly in value hasn't worked in 10 years other than in short increments. So you're right. I mean, it, it made sense to pile into one side of the boat. And what side of the boat is the best side to pile into right now if <laughs> one were to pile in one side? Are you, are you suddenly all in? on big oil again? Because it seems like everybody else has kind of, you know, forgotten about ESG and now all of a sudden they're making some money and oil stocks are on vogue again. As you know, oil and energy is tough. You know, you really got to get the oil prices right. I don't know if I'm good enough for that. So I won't pile in there. I think you just got to make sure you have a balanced portfolio, have some value in there. <clears throat> I would also say make sure you upgrade in quality because rising rates and the Fed, you know, raising rates three and now priced in four times, that should move towards quality companies. 